Rain. Uh, this morning we're going to be uh, looking at some grammar points by reading an article and uh, learning some uh, things like countable, uncountable nouns, um, past time uh, expressions, and quantifiers. We're just uh, waiting for people to join the class. Uh, if you want to reserve seats, then uh, it's a great idea to get a premium membership and that will allow you to get into any class at any time you want and you're always guaranteed a seat so that's great otherwise um, you can wait for a couple of minutes and uh, join the class if there's any room so hi later hello welcome hi later hello Welcome, later. Hello. I'm getting uh, feedback from you later. If you could make sure that the uh, verbling window is closed on your computer. Make sure that the. Uh... Okay. Thank you. Can, can you hear? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, that's great. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Where are you from, later? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. Welcome. Very Thank nice. You. Is it warm in Colombia today? Yeah, it's a little uh, hot. Hot. <laughs> that would be nice. I'm waiting for hot. In Canada, it is still very cold. Yeah. I would like to be here. <laughs> and um, Duigu, is that how you pronounce your name? Could you yes. say it for me? Yes, Duigu. Duigu. Oh, welcome. Where are you from, Duigu? I am from Turkey. From Turkey. Very nice. And Bruno. Oh, where's Bruno? It's this one. Oh, hi, Nyang. Nice to see you. Yes, nice to see you. Bruno, there's Bruno. <laughs> how are you going? Great. I'm very well, thank you. Bruno, hello. Can you hear me, Bruno? No? And... Just trying to find people here. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. I see your picture at the bottom, but I'm not seeing it on the screen. Where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Belgium. <laughs> from Belgium. Welcome. Thank you. Sarah, you're on here twice for some reason. Yes. I have two pictures of you at the bottom. <laughs> yes, but I don't know why. It was the same time. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Okay. Oh well. Uh, uh, Unai, is that how you pronounce your name? Unai? Yes. Oh. Unai. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Unai. Where are you from? I'm from Basque country. Basque country. Um, yes. In Spain. In Spain, yes. I have yes. actually been there once, very briefly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I think we've. Got everybody in the class. Frank. Hello, Frank. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And where are you from? I am from Italy, northern Italy. And this is my okay, first northern Italy. class with you. Okay. Nice to meet you. And uh, I hope my connection will work properly. So far, so uh, because good. Because today <laughs> we have uh, some problems today. Okay, okay. So we'll we'll take that into consideration. Great. And Alejandro. Alejandro. Hi. Good morning. 
Good morning. How are you? Fine, Where fine. Are you? Where are you from, Alejandro? I am from Argentina. Argentina. Very nice. Okay. Um, Can so, you hear me? Uh, yes, I hear somebody. Where? Who said Sweet. that? Bruno. 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 Where? Yes, Bruno. Yes. Okay, yes, Thank I can you. hear you. You're working fine. All right. So I'm going to get the class started. Um, this class is a, uh, a beginner's class. So for some of you, it might be very basic, um, but uh, maybe you will learn some grammar points you didn't know. But I'm hearing a lot of very good English here. So um, bear with me, and we'll get started. I'm going to do a screen share with you so we can look at things. Did everybody um, get the worksheet that was attached to this lesson? Yes. Yes. If you have it, um, that's great. If you don't have it, I'm going to see if I can post the link in the chat here. Let's see if it will Unfortunately, work. Unfortunately, my verbling chat is not working. I don't know why. My verbling chat is not working either, so I'm using the Hangout chat. Uh, so those you... with the blue icon? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's the, um, that's the location of the worksheets. Now, I do a screen share of um, the worksheets. There it is there. So we can do them together. Oh, end of show. That's not very useful. Uh, let uh, get back to my slideshow here. There. Okay. Now, if you have the worksheet, the pictures that I have on my slideshow are not the same. Um, but it will get the same idea across. When you look at the pictures, can everybody see them on the screen? Yes. Yes, yes? I can. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Picture A. What do you what would do you think it would be? Down at the bottom, there are a number of different uh, wilderness um, nouns. Which one do you think A is? First one. It shows a lake. The first one. It is a lake. Mountain. No, the very first one. The very first one. Number on A. Mountain. Uh, not a mountain. That's this. Not a lake. <laughs> I'll do the first one for you. It's a river. A river. That's right. A river, and it's going in um, between mountains low mountains, but it is a river. What about B? Anybody? Forest. Jungle. Forest. Jungle. Yeah. yeah, jungle. A jungle is a type of forest, but the next picture, C, and what is that? Forest. forest. Okay, yeah, C okay. is the forest. There we go. Can you explain me about jungle? About jungle? Yeah. Jungle is a forest that grows in an area that's very hot. So um, in... Um, like Amazon? Yes, like the Amazon. Yeah. So that's a jungle. The type of plants that grow there grow where there's a lot of water and it's very hot. The, the forest that you see beside um, the uh, picture C that forest is a forest you would find on the west coast of North America, maybe in other places, but that, I believe, looks like a redwood forest. It also grows where it is very wet, but it grows where it is quite cold as well. It would get snow in the wintertime. So that's the difference. Any other Teacher, questions? by the way, a question. Yes, certainly. I have I have heard sometimes uh, uh, that the, the word wood. Yes, uh, the woods. Dif the any differences between forest and woods? No, there is no difference between forest or woods. The woods, it was, um, I think, more a British thing to say, I'm going into the woods. And oh, okay. 
the reason why they said that is because it is where they got the wood from for their fires. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Another word for forest in Canada is the bush. We call it the bush, and I believe in um, Australia as well. There's bush country. It also is a type of forest. Okay. Well, what about picture D? Do you think that is grassland? Grassland. grassland. Yes, grassland. Um, in other countries, in Canada, we call it grasslands, but in other countries, uh, they might call it a savanna. Very similar kind of, of place, just where there's a lot of grass that grows. Now, the next picture, E and F, what lake. do you think? Lake. Okay, lake, lake. and? Results. This fair. We've gotten mountain. two. Mountain, yeah, lake and mountain. Mountain and lake. <laughs> and the very last picture. The desert. 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 The desert. The desert. Yes. Okay, great. So these are all examples of wilderness areas, um, places that uh, people haven't really made <clears throat> any changes to. Although in our forest we have a road, and in the desert we also have a road. Sometimes roads will go through those places, but there are no houses, there are not really too many people. So this is um, what we're going to be looking at today when we read our article about the Scottish man who lives in the wilderness. Okay, quantifiers. <clears throat> quantifiers are uh, words that we use to describe um, a quantity of something. So I'll do number one for you so you understand. There are a lot of mountains in the western part of Canada. A lot is a quantifier. In Canada, <clears throat> we don't say a lot. We would say there are lots of mountains in the western part of Canada. But the worksheet I am using is from Britain, so um, they do it a little bit differently. So the next one, number two. Can I get... Um, Unai, can you read number two and choose which of the quantifiers should be used there? Yes, of course. Thank you. In the forest, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, read the whole <laughs> sentence. Some, some of the trees, some okay, of the trees that. are dying because of the pine beetles. Okay, in Canada, this is a problem. Um, in the word I used for this sentence, although some can be used, um, some, do you think some is a lot of trees or not very many trees? Some. Not too much. Yeah. Just some, just a few, a little. But if I said many of the trees are dying, that means there are a lot of them that are dying. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, because I know Canada, I know that many of the trees are dying because of the pine beetles. But some or many could be used depending on how many trees you're trying to talk about. Okay. So, I have a question. I okay, good. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Nyung, are you there still? Nyung? I don't see her here. I think she disappeared. Uh, Luigo, can you do number three, please? Okay. Many rivers are very cold because the water comes from snow in the mountains. Okay. And many works there. That's good. But in my case, when I did this worksheet, I used a different word because we've already used many. What other word do you think would work in there that we haven't used yet? Some rivers. Yeah, some rivers. Okay, good. Some rivers are very cold. Okay, number four. Uh, we have down here. Alejandro, Mine. can you do number four? 
There is not... Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. Read the whole sentence and then we'll work on them. Water in the badlands of Alberta and there are some trees. Okay. Now, in the badlands of Alberta, it is an area where it is quite dry. So, we're going to try and find a word that will describe not uh, not a lot of water, but we're got, not going to use a lot. Another word. Much? Yeah, much. Why would you use much? Water is a blue uncountable. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Water is an uncountable noun. And much is used with uncountable nouns. So that's good. There, We're going to talk a little bit more about countable and uncountable nouns on the next screen. So there's not much water in the Badlands of Alberta. And there are... What word do you think should go in there? Few. I'm sorry, what did you say? Few. Few, few yeah, there are few trees, meaning there are not very many trees. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Is trees yeah. uncountable or an uncountable noun? Can we count trees? Countable. Yes, we can yes. count them. We can count trees, one tree, two three trees, three trees. Yeah, we can count them. Okay, so number five. Uh, Young, you're with us again. Could you do number five? Can you see it? Uh, I, I, I think it's a little, only a little water flows in the river during the summer. Okay. Only a little water flows in the river during the summer. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Any questions so far? Everybody with us? Excellent. Sarah, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you do number six for me? Yes. There are, aren't any trees on the grassland in central Canada. Right. There aren't any trees on the grasslands in central Canada. Good job. Okay, so we're going to look at... Well, if I can get this to work. Oh, yes. Um, at the bottom of the page, much and a little were highlighted. And I highlighted those ones because those two um, quantifiers can only be used with uncountable nouns. So much goes with water or a little water. But you can't say a little trees or much trees. It would be many trees. Now, some of these uh, quantifiers can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, so that's what's on the next screen. We have uncountable nouns. Water, sand, paper, milk, oil. So you can use with those words some, a lot or lots of, any, a little, and much. Okay? Now, the countable nouns, we can still use all those words, water, sand, paper, milk, but we're going to count what they're in. So we have bottles of water, grains of sand, sheets of paper, glasses of milk, and barrels of oil. So with those, you can use some, a lot, or lots of, any, few, and many. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you have a question, please just pop in with the question. I'll try to I answer. I have one. Yes, please. Sometimes I have uh, I have read and uh, I have heard few and a few and uh, little and a little. Any differences between the two ways? Uh, in any given sentence, um, it's it's a choice that you make. Um, 
Can you repeat the question so that I understand exactly Som what you're asking? Sometimes uh, I can see around when I study English. Yes. Uh, for example, few and a f or a few and uh, little and a little. Ah, good and, question. And I can catch the, the difference, the point between the two forms. Yes, I understand what you mean. Yeah. Um, somebody's got um, the verbling thing on. I'm hearing myself again. If you can try to mute your mic while I'm talking and that'll solve the problem. Um, you would use... Uh, well, let's go back to one of the sentences I used in my... Uh, there are only a little water flows in the river during summer. So I'm talking about kind of a specific time and a specific flow. Only a little water flows. Um, let's see. So instead of saying there is not much water in the Badlands, I could say there is little water in the Badlands. Mm -hmm. So that would be the same as not much. You would say little. But only a little is very specific. The first one, little water, is being very general. Little water, anywhere in the Badlands. But I'm talking in the not, uh, sentence five about a particular river. Only a little water flows in the river during summer. So it's more specific. Mm -hmm. Does okay. that make any sense? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank and you. the other one is the same sort of thing. When you're talking about something specific, you would use a little or um, a lot. But if you're talking about something more general, you would say few or little and just use the, oh yeah, I've got that. And there are few I trees. skip the, the A. Okay. Okay. Now we'll get back to where we were. Next one. Okay. We're going to get to uh, reading the article now. Uh, I'm going to do a different screen share so the article is on the screen, but also if you have the um, worksheet, it is on uh, page two of the worksheet. So you can look at it there. I'm going to get uh, people to read it for me. Just let me get rid of this and, and we'll get it up on the screen. There we are. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Bruno, could you read um, the first, okay. <laughs> first part starting with the title? Don't have the title uh, on the screen. Living in the in the wild. Wild. Uh, continue. Are you uh, my life is a great adventure. Yes, and the first I, paragraph. Okay, I live in an in an old house in the Scotch wild wilderness. I got the house thirty years ago. I was tired of landlords and I want to live alone. I decided to save money and buy my own house. There weren't any windows and it was very damp inside. I started to make fires and prepare the house for winter. Okay, great, thank you. Um, Yada, welcome. Hello. Hi, teacher. Have you, been, you? have you been following along? Would you like to read the next sentence? Yeah. The, thank you. The next paragraph. It's the second paragraph? Um, the paragraph, can you see it on the screen? Or are you reading it uh, from the, the worksheet? No, I can see the screen. OK. So it starts with, I am always busy. OK. I am always busy. I always boil hot potatoes and look for berries. When I see some food, I pick up, pick it up. I never miss an opportunity to get something for nothing. Sometimes people visit me. 
I write letters and articles for a magazine. Great, thank you. Welcome. Um, later, could you do the next paragraph, please? Yes, of course. Summer is the best time. I go outside and cook with an outdoor fire. It's lovely. It's an easy life. If I want to stay at home, I can. Three weeks ago, a man from Latvia came to visit me. We went skiing in the mountains. Skiing, skiing. Skiing. Yes. Mountain. It was a great adventure. But two winters ago, it was a hard life. I traveled regularly to the city of Aberdeen. 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 Yes. Aberdeen. Because I needed to go to court. I couldn't go by car or train, so I traveled on the skies. Skis. Skis. Skis, yes. For six miles. When I got back home, the fires were out and it was cold and wet. It was a nightmare. Great, thank you very much. And, um... I have a question. Yes. What's the meaning of nightmare? Ah, we're going to go through that one, but um, bad dream. Can, can you? Yeah, it's a bad dream. But if you just wait, um, we'll we'll get to that because uh, it's on the next screen. Okay. Okay. So hold hold that question. <laughs> Great. Uh, so the last, uh, uh, Unai, can you re uh, read the last one, please? The last paragraph. Yes, yes, I can. Thank you. To me, this is a normal life. A career is strange for me. I don't want to work every day and take money home. This is more simple. It sounds depressing, but for me, it's a great adventure. All right, good. Um, I have a question. Yes? I don't understand this sentence, so I travel on a ski for six months. Okay, he. Um, do you know what skis are? Yes. So he traveled on skis to go to court. So he had to go from the wilderness to the city of Aberdeen in Scotland, because that's where he is. And to do that, he went on skis. It, they were cross-country skis. So he had to travel across the snow. He had no car, no bus. So that's how he traveled. Yes. <laughs> uh, why for six months? I'm sorry, um, why? For six miles. For six miles. miles. That was the distance. Yes. Um, we use kilometers. But in England and in the United States, they use miles as a unit of measure. Uh, is that like a spit? Uh, sit on an hour. I'm sorry? Mm, because uh, I. When I see this sentence, I think uh, um, uh, the land of um, uh, the rat, uh, uh, the land of um, his travel is only uh, six miles. I, I'm sorry, Nyang, I'm not sure what you're asking me about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll, we'll need to go on, so um, maybe the question will get answered for you as we go. We'll try. So um, the next slide, everybody can see um, it's number two in the wild. It would be on page two if you're looking at your worksheet or it's on the screen. <coughs> so we're going to um, read the text, which we just did, about Jake Williams and complete the definitions. 
So on the left hand side is um, a phrase or word that we are going to define with the definitions on the right hand side. So for instance, a landlord. Does anybody know what a landlord is? What is the definition? I, I was about to ask about it. Okay. Uh, where is the page, please? Uh, page two? In the slide? Um, we're going to choose one of these. So just tell me what letter. A, B, C, D, uh, E, F. Someone who owns a flat, house, or building. Yes. And, yes. and receive money from the people who use it. That's right. Okay. Now, again, in England, apartments are called flats. Um, here in Canada and most of North America, they're called apartments. So either a word is correct. So somebody who owns an apartment, flat, house, or building and receives money from the people who use it is a landlord. Okay. And if... Uh, owner, what do you... Yes, Sorry? Owner is also a landlord, the same. An owner. An owner, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. And if um, a landlord is a man, what do you think you would call a woman? Landlady. A landlady, that's correct, yes. You would say a landlady. Okay, so let's go on to um, number two, lovely. What do you think lovely means? Anybody? <coughs> Very nice. Very nice. It's very nice. It's lovely. Or good. pleasant. Yeah, pleasant make, is another good word. Make something with love? Um, no, not to make something with love. Lovely is just something that is there that's very nice, very pleasant, um, maybe beautiful. Um, a woman can be lovely or beautiful. It okay. means pretty much the same. Okay, it's it's or a description. Enjoyable. Um, yeah, not quite as close, but uh, it it could be it could be used. Mm -hmm. Number three, damp. A little wet. A little wet. Yes, that's damp. So in the um, article. He said that there weren't any windows and it was very damp inside. So you can imagine it would not be very pleasant. A little wet. Okay, and here's a nightmare. <laughs> Anybody want to guess what a nightmare would be in these definitions? Somebody very, said, very yeah, a bad dream is a nightmare but it also will describe something else that's listed here. Bad dream. Bad a dream. bad dream is also, um, if we were to say instead of a nightmare, put a bad dream. Now on um, the definitions we have on the right hand side, which one matches it the best? But. Uh, Maybe we can use it also to talk about a very, very bad, bad event or fact in the life. Right. Troubles. Troubles. Yes. Yes. So um, on the right-hand side, when we're looking at all these definitions, which letter makes the most Number sense? Number six, so a very unpleasant experience. Yes. OK. Do you have it as, uh, as numbers on yours? Yes. Oh, you do. Number. Okay, and I've got it um, as letters on mine. That's why I'm yes. confused. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, a very unpleasant experience. Good job. And number five for me, strange. <clears throat> but normal. Yeah, not normal. Strange. Good job. <clears throat> Hard. Difficult. Difficult. Boil. Difficult. Uh, 
I don't Heart. like. <laughs> there we go. And number seven, boil. To cook something in very hot water. That's right. Good job. And the last one, wilderness. Wilderness, nature. Yes. In our definitions that are on page two of the worksheet, which one does it match? A wide area where there are only animals and plants, not people. Yes. Good job. Okay. All right. So we're going to look back through that article <clears throat> and answer these questions. Um, Yada, can you read question one for me, please? Are you there, Yada? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Number one? Yes. Where does Jake Williams live? Right. Where does Jake Williams live? <coughs> in the in Scottish Highlands. Yes. He lives. He lives in the Scottish what? Wilderness. Wilderness, yes. He lives in the Scottish wilderness. And uh, Alejandro, can you read question two please? When did he get his house? Okay, and does anybody know the answer? 30 years ago. From 30 years ago. Yeah, 30. There we go. Good job. And uh, Nai, can you read number three, please? Sorry, I'm lost because <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. On page, uh, I guess it's page three, we're doing the checking understanding, and there are questions. We've done, where does Jake Williams live? We're on question three. Why did he decide to live there? Yes, why did he decide to live there? Anybody? Uh, okay. Because he, he, was he, what, what? he was tired of landlords. Yeah, he was tired of landlords. Tired of paying all that rent. <laughs> and he wants oh, to yes. live alone. He wants to live alone. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, Frank, are you still there? Can you do number four? Yes. What does he do in summer? Yeah. What does he do? Goes back he likes going with outside the and cook and with uh, an old oh. fire. Yeah, he, he goes, goes outside. Out. Yeah, good job. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, question number five, Bruno. Number five. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, who did he meet three winters ago? Yeah, so who did he meet? A man from Latvia. Yes, a man from Latvia. He met. Yeah, good. And the last question, uh, Sarah, can you read number six? <coughs> what did they do uh, yeah. they when skiing in the mountains? That's right, they went skiing in the mountains. Good. Okay. So here's a question. Oh, wait, two more questions. Uh, number seven. Aya, can you read number seven? Uh, yes. Uh, why did he travel to Aberdeen regularly? Uh, Aberdeen. Regular. Aberdeen, uh, Aberdeen regularly? Yes. Yeah. Aberdeen. Regularly two winters ago? Mm -hmm. uh, why did he go to that city? Uh, 
because he needed he needed to go to court. Right, he needed to go to court. What is it, court? Yes. Okay, he needed to um, court is um, is when uh, you are on trial for something. Ah. So I, he, they don't explain why he needed to go to court. Um, maybe he owed a landlord money, I don't know. <laughs> but he was going there because he had to go to a court of law and um, do something. Yeah. And the last question. Uh, oh, later. Okay, yeah. What does he say about his life? Yes. What does he say? His life is a great adventure. Exactly. He says it's a great adventure. For me, he don't want to work every day. That's right. He doesn't want to work every day. He wants to live a more free life. At least for him, he thinks it is. And that kind of leads me into the next question I want to ask everybody. Would you like to live like Jake Williams does? What do you think? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to go one at a time so everybody can uh, can tell me what they think. Uh, Alejandro, what do you think? Would you like to live like Jake Williams in the wilderness? Yes, because I like snow. <laughs> <laughs> well. In, in Scotland, it doesn't snow all the time. They have snow in the winter time, um, and they have a lot of uh, cool, rainy weather in the summertime. <laughs> it would be nice if it was warm all, all the time, but uh, for me, I like the warm, but you like the cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any other reason why you would like to, uh, to live in the wilderness? Alejandro, are you there? Yes, but I I a little lo lost. <laughs> You're a little lost. Okay. A little lost. Okay. Excuse All right. Well, maybe I'll just take this down for now because we don't really need to look at it because I want to just see everybody. Oops. I cancel that. Uh, All right. There. Okay, so uh, who do we have here? Oh, Aya, what about you? Would you like to live in the wilderness? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Because cause I don't like uh, cold weather at all. You don't like cold weather at all? Well, no. he, had, he had fires. He could cut um, firewood and put it in a stove and keep the house warm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because uh, I feel cold quickly. And Ah, do you live in a warm place? Uh, no, in the winter uh, it will be cold, very cold. Oh, okay, in Egypt. very cold. Okay. Oh, in Egypt. I didn't realize that. I don't know very much about that part of the world. I'd like like to go. I think it would be a very yes, interesting place right. to to visit. It. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about anybody else? How about Bruno? Okay. <laughs> oh. uh. I used to live in the city, and I think for me, um, is not is not a good way to li to live. In the city? No, in the wilderness. In the wilderness. I, I prefer to, uh, I do prefer to live in the in the city because Why? of the, because of the the comfort we okay. we have in, we have in the city. Okay, great. All right, and. Uh, uh, Halit, you're new. Hello, Halit, are you there? No, not really. Okay. Sometimes my uh, screen freezes and I can't see the names of people. Uh, later, what about you? Would you like to live in the wilderness? Well, I think no, because uh, I, I don't like cold. Maybe one week or week, <laughs> one month because I don't like the cold weather. Just a little fresh or something like that. In the wilderness, 
the cold. What if you could live in the wilderness, say, in the Amazon jungle where it's warm all the time? What about then? <laughs> <laughs> it would be a good experience, but uh, uh, only by flying. Riding. The uh, Amazon rainforest is full of insects. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another problem, isn't it? <laughs> yes, insect, it is. I am Brazilian um, and I know it. <laughs> um, Young, what about you? I think I, uh, I like Spain uh, someday uh, to live there. Uh, but uh, I don't live uh, there all, the, all, my, all my life because I can't live uh, with the uh, modern equipment. Right, yeah. yeah. We get very used to our modern mm -hmm. things, don't we? Very much so. Yeah. Okay. Sarah? Uh, so I would like to live close to the nature, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm, I am able to live alone. So. Right, okay, I understand. <clears throat> I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would like to live alone. Do you know what we call people who live alone in the wilderness? No. They're called hermits. Hermits. Hermit, hermit. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't be a hermit either. <laughs> Unai, what about you? Yes. Could you live in the wilderness like a hermit? Yeah, I would yeah. like to You'd live like, like him. Yes. <laughs> Why? I don't like the way of the people are living in this world. I don't like yeah. the capitalists, so I prefer <laughs> don't work or work by myself, not right. for other people. Yes, okay. but maybe in a warmer place, or maybe not alone. Right. But I would like, I would like to live to him. Okay, like great. Him. Yeah. Super. And Yara, what about you? Well, I, I love cold. I really, really love cold. But I, I don't like uh, live as a every time. No, I like the, I like people. I like the. You like to be with people. Yeah. No, obviously no uh, crowded. It's crowded or when it's a lot of people. But, I um, I only get half of what you're saying, Yada, because you keep popping in and out the sound. So I'm not sure what you said. <laughs> Sorry. So you like to live with people. Yeah. Yeah. And of not course, in, not with um, in a place uh, crowded. I, I think yeah. it's the one. Cr no, 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 really. But I like um, to know people. But I love the call, so yeah, it's okay. good for me to live in a wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever gone camping in the wilderness, like just for a week, spent some time in um, a wilderness area? Anybody? No. Yes, Do you know what yes, I mean by yeah. yeah, camping where maybe you take a tent and you put up a tent and you live somewhere maybe by a lake just for a week. In yeah. Canada it's a very common thing to do. Um, people like to leave uh, the city on the weekend and they go um, to our north country. I live in Ontario. Uh, I live very close to Toronto, which is a, a large city for Canada, the largest in Canada. And if you go north from Toronto, you will go into a beautiful wilderness area of lakes and rocks and trees. It's very, very beautiful. And people either camp with a tent or they may have a cottage a small house um, that doesn't have a lot of well, it has electricity usually and some heat, um, but that's where they will stay for the weekend, and then they go back to the city. Do um, do people in your country do similar things? Anybody? No, in my country, no, it's not common camping. No. No, people prefer. I think people prefer go to the beach. And maybe stay one or two days. Nowadays, it's more common on the beach. Okay. On the beach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> on mountain or something like that. No. Okay. Good. 
great. Anybody else? In my country, we are going going out to to fish on the river. Ah. Not to do camping. Not to camp, just to fish. Just to fish and sleep <laughs> and drink beer. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, a lot of drinking beer goes on in the tents in Canada as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Great. All right, we're going to um, we're going to look at a few more. Oh, where's my my? Uh, yeah. Grammar points. I just have to get it up here. Okay. We're going to look at past time expressions because um, many times you want to talk about something that happened um, at a different time, a previous time. So we use these past time expressions like last or ago, in, on, and yesterday. So we need to know where to use them. In this sentence, if everybody sees it up on the screen, it says, I met Andro, yeah. and the next one is night, Monday, week, weekend, or summer. What of, which one of those pastime expressions would you use in that sentence? <coughs> last night. That's right. Last night, or you could say last Monday, or last week, or last weekend. It's last. Okay. And what if I said, I met Andrew? And then mm. I've got a blank in. 2001. Yes. In. in. Perfect. Okay. In. I met Andrew 30 years. What would be the word at I the go. end? I go. I go. That's I go. right. I go. Yeah. And I met Andrew on Monday. Monday. On Monday. On Monday. Yes. On the Good. April. Yeah. Good. And I met Andrew. Something morning or afternoon or evening? Yesterday morning. Yesterday. I met Andrew yesterday morning. Okay. So let's fill in some blanks. Uh, Alejandro, number one, please. Yes. Did you go on holiday? Holiday. Did you go on holiday? Uh, last, uh, year. last year. Last year. Last year. Okay. Everybody's last saying year? last yes. year. Yes. Good. Okay. Number two. Um, Unai? Yes. Number Did you two. watch TV yesterday morning? Okay. Did you watch TV yesterday morning? Okay. Um, Bruno? Number three, please. Uh, did you start learning English more than we than one year ago? Yeah, one year ago. Good job. And number four, um, later. Did you speak speak English in the evening? Uh, anybody got a different idea there? Did you last. speak English? Yesterday yeah. evening. Okay. Last. Yesterday evening. I, I, I would accept last evening or yesterday evening, but I believe the answer is yesterday. Yes. But I, I would agree with last evening as well. Did you speak English last evening? Is uh, perfectly ac acceptable. But in this case, they wanted yesterday, which is also correct. And number five, uh, Sarah. Did you have a holiday in uh, 2010? Yeah, did you have a holiday in 2010? Good. Uh, Aya, number yeah. six, please. Uh, did you meet somebody last night? Yes, did you meet? The word is meet. Meet. Yes. Did you meet somebody last night? That sounds good to me. And uh, Bruno, number seven. Uh, did you text 
somebody five minutes five minutes to go. Five minutes ago, yes. Good. And uh, young number eight. Did you go to uh, a party last weekend? Yes. Did you go to a party I had a last question. Sorry? What the what does test mean in um seven version? What test? does um Can you write the word in the in the chat so I know what you're asking? Test test T E E S T Text I only know a test. Oh 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 sorry, yes, text. Um people who have a cell phone, they will uh instead of talking on the phone, will write on the phone. Okay. Yeah, Try they use their phone and send a message writing it instead of speaking. Yeah. Does do you understand? Yes. It's okay. a first time. Uh, yeah, that's uh, called texting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I usually uh, see it's not like a no. Yeah. Okay. Can we move on? Number nine. Uh, Unai, number nine, please. Yes, sorry. Uh, did you live in another country in 2005? Yes, good job. And uh, Yada, number ten, please. Did you do any exercise last week? Last week, yes. Good job. Okay. So, can anybody... I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. Trying to get back to me there. Uh, can anybody tell me uh, or give me one uncountable noun? Can anybody remember an uncountable noun? Sugar. Water. Sugar, Sugar water. Yeah, those are great. Milk. Milk. Money. Money, yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. And what about, uh, what kind of a quantifier would you use with an uncountable noun? Much or a little. Okay, much, a little. Anything Maybe. else? Any? Any? Uh, Any? There are, there are many. Some? No, many you can't use, I don't think. We're look, looking at uncountable nouns. Uh, there are many trees, that's countable. There are many water, doesn't work. There is some water, some works. Okay, but not a many. Few. A few. A few. There are a few trees, that works. There are a few water that doesn't work. A lot? Mm -hmm. A lot of water, that works. Actually, it works for uh, countable nouns as well. A lot of trees, that works too. So sometimes they'll work on both. That's good. Does anybody have any questions about um, anything that we covered? Anything? Yes, no? A resounding no. No. <laughs> it was an easy, fairly easy lesson because, like I said, it, it was at a beginner level, and uh, you people seem to be a little bit beyond beginner beginners. So you're doing really great. Uh, it, I'm always impressed with the amount of English that uh, that people have. I'm trying to learn Spanish myself, and I'm nowhere near as far in my Spanish as all of you folks are in your English. So. Congratulations to everybody. We're at the end of this lesson and at the end of our time. So um, thank you so much for joining me. It's It's been fun. You guys are great. I enjoyed you. And um, hopefully I'll see you in my next uh, my next lesson, which will be at 2. So join okay. me then. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher.